week of what my life looks like at the moment. Um, I'm training for a, uh, a marathon trail run now, uh, Beach to Brother, which is a run that runs from Port Macquarie to North Haven uh, and finishes up the top of a mountain called North Brother Mountain. Um, it, uh, it has a little bit of elevation up and down a few hills, a bit of sand, uh, single track, concrete, um, paths to be able to get there. So there's a bit of variation in it. Um, I've done the half marathon a couple of times now. And um, as you may be aware from my previous videos, I was training for a half marathon up in Queensland. But uh, in a couple of weeks time, the border will not be open to New South Wales where I live, so I am unable to cross the border to make it to that event. So, um, third year that I haven't been able to make it there, so I'm pretty bummed about that. Um, the first year they had bushfires up there that went through the national park and um, there was a lot of trees that uh, were down, etc., uh, that made it dangerous to hold the event. So then I transferred my entry into the following year which was last year um, and once again back then the borders were closed because of COVID um, which again happened this year so unfortunately I couldn't make that event but uh, the local Beach to Brother event is in around three weeks time I think after that event um, so I've just changed my training plan slightly and up the volume uh, for a marathon and um, yeah I'll take you on some of my runs and what I go through each week and just show you what it's like to train for a marathon um, and live a normal life for that week leading into so I hope you get something out of this um, I will later dates uh, organize some other videos uh, for my business and all related around exercise and sports science so uh, if you do have any questions related to my training uh, definitely put them in the comments below and i'll try to address them in future videos if i cannot just comment back so here we go So it's been raining on and off today and uh, I tried to pick a window to go out and do my run. Since it's particularly it's an hour and a half I've got to run. And uh, yep, it's coming over grey. It's starting to sprinkle now. Um, I've got a little bit of trail at the start of my run. So hopefully I can get off this trail before it pours rain as I've got my road shoes on and see if we can get onto some some ground that is a little bit drier so to speak um, or not muddy I should say anyway I'm with upwards Hey, well, it's now Wednesday, so um, I'm on my way to work at the moment, uh, pick up a client, and we're going to go up to Werakimi National Park and go exploring up there. Um, yeah, it's a wet day still, a bit of rain about, but it uh, should be a lot of fun. Well, it's still raining a little bit, so we're up at Plateau Beach and just about to go on a walk. Uh, Plateau Beach is um, in Werakimbi National Park and it's about an hour and a half's drive from Port Macquarie.
Can you see? Part of the you can see him walking up the tree there. Yeah. Pretty cool. I do my first interval. Three seconds, two, one. All right. Sitting on the power now. Just need to hold this pace. Squat on. Alright, chopping off a little bit, need to pick it up. There you go. Not a minute to go. Going through a little bit of stuff through work, through plan fit on the computer, drawing up a few training plans, uh, editing my website and updating a few things in there, um, as well as you know setting up my own training. So that's what's in store through the middle of today and uh, this afternoon. Um, I have a client coming in and we're going to do some strength training and hit. So there you go. So just about to head out on today's training run. Today is Thursday. So today I run for an hour and a half, nice and easy. Only a low score in my RSS, which is my training stress score. And um, Tomorrow I've got a mono fartlek, which is uh, basically fartlek intervals, slow, fast, speed play. Um, but on Saturday, I have a run for around an hour and a half at an easy pace. And Sunday, two hours, which consists of a couple of intervals, uh, basically at rates pace or just above. So um, I have heard about a long run that's an annual run here in Port Macquarie on Sunday um, where they're running around a half marathon or a little over. Easy run today, just an hour and a half. Nice easy pace, 70 to 80% of critical power. Really windy, so I'm not sure if you can hear me, but uh, looks like there may be a storm blowing across this way as well. See how we go. Storm's coming across now. Met up with another group. Yeah. Crazy people running along here. So uh, this is the Run Port Macquarie group. Do regular runs each day. And because uh, I had an easy run today, 
thought I'd catch up and run beside them. Uh, they're stopping for a beer after 5k apparently. So, unfortunately, well not unfortunately, but I gotta keep running. Hey Simon. Fellow cyclist, Simon there, going past. Getting in his recovery ride, probably from this morning being smashed off the boys. Anyway, catch you in later. Hooray, we've left the other group. Just cruising along the beach now, sitting on the power that I should be for my training. Uh, nearly halfway through, so I'll catch you the next check in. Well, well, that was the end of uh, day three during the week, Thursday. Um, easy run today for an hour and a half. Uh, met up with a couple of groups the, um, that run around Port Macquarie. So um, both groups I run with or have run with regularly on a basis, regularly. And a um, good bunch of people. Um, it's always good to get out and run with other groups and mix up your training a little bit. Um, I'm on a structured training, so uh, generally I try and pick the bunches that I run with um, and pick the pace to make sure that it matches as closely as possible to the pace that I need to be running for my training. Um, today's run was a little bit harder than what I really wanted to go. So I did cut my run a little bit shorter than uh, an hour and a half, only by 10 minutes, but that should bring my uh, my stress score down for my training. Um, yeah, so uh, the weather held off. It's really, really windy out there. Um, so that made it a little bit challenging at times, running against the wind. Uh, I seem to um, the wind seems to affect me more as I've gotten older compared to when I was younger and used to you run in the wind I didn't notice it and but back then I, I used to love running up hills too so I tend to notice that a bit more now as well um, as I'm aging but it's it's all a part of running and it's all a part of getting old and that process um, on your cells regenerating um, not, not as quick or as fast as they used to uh, when you were younger but um, anyway, it um, was a good run and uh, yeah, I enjoyed it. So um, tomorrow um, I'm doing what they call the monofartlek, uh, which is a, a training session, a fartlek session, which is speed play, um, fast and slow, designed by Steve Monaghetti, legend himself from Australia. Um, and a training session that I love to do. So uh, looking forward to that tomorrow. Um, may have a friend come along with me, may not. It depends on if he wants to uh, to join in. Uh, he's gonna send a message later on today. So um, anyway, until then, um, gonna have a shower after have some stretching and uh, some dinner and uh, hit the hay for an early start probably tomorrow morning. Catch you then. Good morning. Well, I've got a, a little bit of a, a niggle going on with my perineal tendon. So I'm just putting a little bit of heat in it before going and doing intervals today. Um, as mentioned earlier, I'm going out and doing uh, an hour's run today. Um, the monofartlek. And... Uh, I'm looking forward to it. That's a minor fight like done besides the 20 minute cool down. Um, I didn't record during the intervals because they're damn hard. So, anyway. 
Beautiful morning. Great way to wake up. And doing a workout like that definitely prepares you for a marathon. Highly recommend it. I'll speak to you when I get home. come out of the blue and into the green now with my running stress and my fitness has been peaked and feel nice and fresh towards the weekend. Just a couple of little niggles with my calf muscle and peoneal tendon but uh, looking forward to the race tomorrow morning.
Come on, Jamie. Well, the marathon didn't go exactly as planned. Less than 10 kilometers in, I went to dodge a wave and strained my left hamstring in the process and uh, basically limped the whole marathon from there and struggled in the soft sand in particular. But um, all a learning curve. I know I need to do more strength uh, training in the future and happy to come back again and have another go at it in 2022. Thanks for watching and if you liked it, please get, leave me a thumbs up. It always helps my channel. And if you want to know anything about my training in particular or